guys, welcome back to another video. I am going to do a very simple, very fun piece of home decor for you today. So what I'm going to be doing is this is a tabletop turner, also known as a two-tier Lazy Susan that I got at Home Depot. It was 10 bucks and Here's the brand, Better Homes and Garden, okay? It's got the, it comes with the little poles. So, we artists cannot leave things just, you know, like this. We have to decorate, right? So, what I'm going to do is do a resin pour only in the black area. The area I painted black, that's what we're gonna, where we're gonna do it. Um, I'm using art resin. I've got my resin separated into little cups. Now what I will do is if I pour only a little tiny bit of resin for a color into one of these little Dixie cups, what I do is I cut off part of the cup so that it's a little smaller. And the reason why I do that is if you put a little tiny bit of resin in there in a full cup like this and pour it you waste a lot it sticks to the sides so even this for this little amount is kind of still high but I cut them quick and it is what it is but I like to do that just so I don't waste all that resin that's that's on this you know big three quarters empty cup and then you can also save these little pieces for acrylic pours if you want to do like, you know, not a flip cup. You could just put these there and pour the paint right into them. They work great. So what I've done so far is I've only painted the two bases black. One coat really quick, acrylic paint. I didn't want to... Uh, have any of the wood grain show through even though I am pouring a black resin base there could be a chance that the wood grain would have shown through so that's why I did that quick uh, I did not prep the wood or anything like that I'm hoping it'll be okay since it's come from the store and it's hopefully stained with something or sealed with something um, so I've only painted them I haven't even taped them off because there's a little lip here and I'm only going to do one thin layer and that's going to be it. So the colors I'm going to use are, and excuse the labels, they're pretty much empty. So they're very, very, very dirty. Uh, Lorez Midnight Black, that's going to be the base. And then for my colors, I'm going to use Lorez Purple Rain. Lorez Cherry Red, which I have in a little bag, and a little bit of the Molten Silver that I mixed into a paste. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is my black, and I wanted to do this on film because somebody had a question for me. So, this cup is a two-ounce cup. It is three-quarters of the way full. I'm going to show you how much black I would put in there. Standard size popsicle stick. Okay. I'd say a half a teaspoon. Now, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And you know what? That might even be a, too much. Usually, the, see the jar is empty, so it's hard for me to get it on the tip of the stick. But you want to put the stick in and fill it. Just like dip it in and fill it up to that area. It's not very high in depth, so it's not much. If you add this much in and it's not enough, do not use the same stick to get more uh, epoxy colorant out. You need to get another stick, a clean one, because you cannot put this resin stick into your colors. 
So I'm just going to mix it up. And the way you tell if it's enough is you put it on the stick, you look at the stick, and if you can see the stick through the color, then it's not enough. If you can't see the stick, then it's perfect. So I'm holding it and I'm letting it drip off a little bit and it's good. You cannot see the stick through it. So that's that color. Next color I'll be able to show you better. So the next one is going to be the Purple Rain. Now, this is, I'd say, an eighth of a two ounce cup. So probably two tablespoons worth of resin. And this is the Purple Rain. I'm literally sticking it in and pulling it out. I'm not picking, scooping anything. I just stuck it in there. I'm letting it drip off a little bit, okay? And now I'm gonna put it in there, mix it around, and look at, this is how good these Lorez pastes are and the color, the powders too. They're very pigmented. Now, this is a transparent, semi-transparent color to begin with the purple rain so you're always gonna see the stick through there unless you really put a lot lot in there but it is a really deep it almost I'm sure it looks black on screen but I promise you that it's not you can see there it's a purple okay so there is that one and I know these may seem like odd color choices, but I like to do odd. That's how I roll. All right, so the next is going to be the silver. Again, only a little two tablespoons worth of resin. Okay. The pigments from Lorez mix in like a dream. I don't have problems with them clumping or anything like that. Um, the molten silver, molten gold, yeah, mix in a little bit more than the others, but they're just truly beautiful colors. And I know she has a lot of new colors out, so if you're looking for colors, I have a link to Laura in my description of my video and it brings you right to the United States store so that the shipping is not too outrageous for you, okay? So last I have the cherry red. Again, I only have, well this one I probably have about three tablespoons of resin. So I will get the stick. Okay. I'm going to start with that much and see how it goes in. If it's not deep enough, then I'll add some more. Now these you want to start off slowly with mixing them in. Or else they'll poof up your face. I know some people will put a little bit of the powder in the cup and then a little bit of resin and make a little paste and then add the rest of their resin. Me, I just start off slow. I was also asked if you can only get a few colors, which would you get? I would suggest strongly suggest a black and white either a silver or a gold and then a red yellow and blue because with the red yellow and blue you can make green purple pink yeah, all different colors so 
So if you're on a limited budget, those are the colors I would suggest. All right, so we have a nice, nice cherry red. Very pretty. So we're good to go. First thing I'm going to do is pour some black. As soon as I make some room here, I'm going to pour some black on each of the bases. And I'm going to try to reserve some. Then I'm going to, let's see if we could rotate it around to move it. Okay, so it's going to take too long that way. What I'm going to do is take my one hand and carefully spread it around. Don't want to get any on that top part, so I'm not going right to the edge. I'm going close to the edge of the black diameter. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Okay, same thing over here. For these two here, by the way, I mixed a total of mm, I'd say four ounces of resin. I'm going to show you really quick how I when I have something like this, a small project, I'll say, you know, one of these cups will probably, if I had a cup full of red mixed resin and I dumped it in here, that would definitely fill in this center. So knowing that I have to do equal parts of hardener and resin, I will make a little line with a pen. Okay, I'll go like this somewhere in the cup and then what I'll do is I'll pour a hardener up to that height dump it into another cup and then this same cup once I scrape all the hardener out I'll use I'll fill with resin up to that point and then mix them together and you're good to go that's my unique high-tech way of measuring And I usually have enough, so. I'm just strapping on another glove here. And I'm just going to add a little tiny more 
to get it up to that corner. Okay, and that might not even be necessary because I have other colors to put on. So, now that I have that down, I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun to pop the bubbles. A heat gun and or a torch are good things to have. Well, you have to have one or the other or you're going to have a total mess on your hands. Um, I believe the torch pops the bu bubbles better, but this moves stuff for you. So that's why I have this and then I'll buy one of these little ones from the gas station, little torches. Okay. They're refillable lighters. They sell them at all the gas stations now. And, okay, you could just torch your bubbles away. All right, so now I'm going to add down my purple, which again, I, looks black, but it's not. And I'm just going to do some random patterns. Same over here. Scrapey, scrapey, don't waste. Okay. Then up next, I'm going to add some of the silver. Not much at first. and then the red. And then a little more black.
Okay. So I'm just gonna heat them up and see what's popping so far. You can probably see all the air bubbles popping. If you see a sparkling on your screen, that's what that is. So now that I see what's doing what, now is the time that I have to figure out do I want to do something different here or leave it alone. First off, I know that I need to get some more resin over here. I don't want to disturb this one too much. I love it. It's just right up by the lip here. have to be very careful or else you'll end up going over the side. That's why I'm taking my time here. This one over here I feel like I need to do a little more to. And this one I don't know if it's off or not. So right now what I'm doing is I'm stretching out the resin. All these little cells you see, if you stretch them, they will get bigger. That is not why I'm doing it. I am doing it to fill in the area. And to see if there's anything else I want to do. I mean, they're very subtle. But I do like them. So this is what I'm doing. I'm adding in a little more. Just in a few spots.
turn this. That silver and the purple rain together are beautiful. So I'm going to heat it again. Turn it a little bit. And I'm going to use a straw to just blow out that little area right there. Blowing very gently. That's it. So I'm just wiggling it around a little bit. I'm watching my sides to make sure that I don't go over. Ready? So I'm going to torch it and then I'm going to take you in for a close up. I hope you guys can see a little bit better with my lighting that I have. 
um, tends to be very dark in here and the light that I have has, it's a ceiling fan and I couldn't find bright white bulbs for it. So it always looked yellow in here at night. So let me know what you think about the colors. Um, the lighting, I mean, not the colors. I'm just going to pause you a second and take you down. Okay, so I'm going to do this quick. Oh boy. Now you can see the light. <laughs> Please ignore the light. So there you have it. Simple, easy, fun little project for the house. Just a couple of colors, nothing crazy. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I want to welcome my new subscribers and thank you so very much. Um, if you have any cash, uh, questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, happy pouring.